Hey peeps, today is Friday, May 8th. Congratulations, you have made it to the end of week six. Oh, I learned this the first time I made this video. I need to move, oh, my head. My head needs to move over here so it doesn't ruin one of my slides. Okay, now we're good to go. So today we're gonna go over our what, why, and how. You have some I ready to do, and then we're gonna talk about your PSA project. So what are we doing today? Our big thing that we're doing is we are starting your public service announcement project, okay? And the big thing is that you're gonna be able to demonstrate, okay? You're going to be able to produce clear and concise writing that shows your understanding of your topic. So the topic that you've been researching for the last two days. Um, and our big how, right? How are you gonna know that you're doing what you're supposed to do? Um, is at the end of class on Monday, you are going to turn in um, a project that is able to achieve proficiency according to the rubric that you saw. Um, I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit more about what your projects are going to um, be doing after you are done with them on Monday when we get there, okay? First, we have some I ready to do. Um, remember, you guys should be doing I ready my pathway. If you're done with I ready, um, if you've passed out of all the levels, go ahead and shoot me an email um, and I will tell you what you need to do next. So what kind of things might you do for your PSA? The examples I gave you when we started looking into this project were all um, very professional um, advertisement um, Pro, uh, public service announcements, right? So we looked at um, some videos, right? We looked at kind of the funny one about cooties, um, but we looked at the one about fireworks. Um, some of the pictures we saw were the dog that um, it said leaving dogs in cars in the heat kills animals. Um, we saw some other pictures, right, about um, uh, women's rights from the UN for women, um, things like that, right? And those were in different mediums. So we saw a commercial and then we also saw um, just a poster. So some of you guys are going to take this project and you're going to run with it, right? I can think of a handful of people right now who are going to do some crazy wild thing, right? So like, I don't even know if this is possible, but like maybe Wyatt Baldus is going to make some sort of Minecraft video thing to do his PSA. I don't even know, like I said, if that's possible, but I could see Wyatt doing something like that, like figuring it out. Um, some of you guys, right, are super artistic. Um, so maybe you really want to draw out your PSA. Um, so you have a poster at home um, and you decide that you're going to draw this beautiful piece um, to convey your information. Maybe you're someone who is really good at um, you know, filming something. Maybe you want to make a little video on your phone um, with your younger or older siblings. Um, maybe it's easiest for you to make a Prezi. Um, you know, some people are really into Prezi's. I personally don't like Prezi's. I don't like all the movement, um, but that's just me, right? Some of you guys really like those. Um, but at the end of the day, you're going to turn in some sort of product um, that is going to be your PSA. So you have all the information um, in that planning sheet and now you just need to take your planning and you need to make it an actual thing. Um, so you're gonna have today and tomorrow uh, to work on these and we're gonna work through an example together. Um, and I am gonna show you the template um, that we have created for those of you who are kind of like, eh, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to make a video or uh, I don't really want to make a poster. I don't have any poster board at home. And we are not telling you that your parents should be running out and buying you poster board, okay? If you don't have it at home, don't worry about it. You're not going to get downgraded if you don't make a video or if you don't make a poster or something like that, okay? It's just your preference. We're not grading you on, you know, whoever's is the coolest. We're grading you on the content, okay? On Monday... Your project is due, so you have time to work on Monday. Just like if we were in school, I would give you class time. On Tuesday, we're going to start moving on to our next thing, which is going to be our last thing of the year. And on Wednesday, we're going to come back to these PSAs and do what is called a gallery walk. So I need that day in the middle on Tuesday to compile all of the materials I've gotten from all of my students um, to create a gallery walk for you guys. And we'll talk more about that um, when we get there. Okay? So... Here is my planning my uh, PSA document, right? So we filled this out together. Um, 
we went through and I put, you know, um, my statistics here. I just kind of paused for a sec because I'm looking at, um, I guess I made some of the corrections, but not all of them, right? Um, so this would be a point where if you really were looking at your planning sheet, you probably would see that I had given you some feedback when you turned it in um, on Thursday, okay? So here's my planning sheet. Here's what I'm doing, right? Um, what I'm going to do for the sake of those of you who might need a little bit more help with this is I'm going to show you what the template looks like. So the template looks like this, and this was made um, by all of your eighth grade teachers together just to make sure that um, there was sort of a way for those of you who maybe um, don't have a way to make a video or you don't really want to make a poster, right? This is going to be a poster um, just in a Google Doc, okay? So it's all the same information. It's all the same thing. It's just sort of already made for you. So up at the top, it says, remember to retitle here. I'm going to put my last name. So, Kelty um, PSA Project. And mine is about homework during DDL. Cool. Okay. So, the title of my PSA, what did we say? Um, let's go and look over here. My title or my topic was homework during DDL. Um, what is a title I could think of that could be more catchy? I'm just trying to think. I'm going to start with my slogan. Online learning is all we got, so log in and give it a shot. I still think that's pretty clever. So I'm going to plug in my slogan. Online learning is all we got, so log in and give it a shot. I'm going to get rid of these brackets here because I don't need those anymore. <sighs> what should my title be? Um... PSA, so hmm, public service announcement, right? Even during um, even during a pandemic, even during a pandemic, schoolwork is important. Let's make this capitalized. Boop, there I go. I don't like this font. I'm going to change the font. Miss Linda Muth and I are always debating over the fonts. I kind of like this one. Ooh, that's nice. So even during a pandemic, schoolwork is important. Does it say is? Yes, schoolwork is important. Online learning is all we got. So log in and give it a shot. Maybe we should make this bold. Cool. Now, general information here. This is where... I'm taking the general information that I have here and I have it in a bulleted list. I want to make it sort of like user friendly here, right? So I want to make it something that other people are going to be able to read. So, you know, in March of um, in March of 2020, um, American children across the continent move to digital oops digital distance learning move to digital distance learning to prevent the spread of the coronavirus boop blah 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 and then i'm going to write things about um you know, it's still important even though we're not in school to do your work. And I just really do not like this font, you guys. So I'm going to just, I just <sighs> got to change it. Then here in this box, right? So I have enough stuff up here. I obviously need more than a sentence, right? I made this whole box on here. So I want to make sure I'm actually taking that information. I'm not going to do it right now because I don't want this to be like an hour long video. Then I'm going to look at my statistics. So on that sheet, I had my statistics. Um, and we're going to do, let's see, let's see. Let's take this statistic here. And remember, I want to make sure it's like written in complete sentences, right? So I want this to be capitalized. Um, oh, is it capitalized? Oh, see, you guys, I hate this font. I can't even tell what's going on here. There we go. Now you can tell it's capitalized. When students improve their attendance rates, they improve their academic prospects and chances for graduating. 
Then I might say my source, right? So let's say this is CNN.com. Or it could say for graduating. And I might say, okay, prospects and chances for graduating according to a according to a study published by CNN. Okay. How does this statistic support your claim? So this is the important part. This is where you are explaining this, right? So I'm going to come in. i got to change the font, right? So students improve their attendance rate. They improve their academic prospects and chances for grading. So missing online learning, missing or let's say skipping. Missing slash skipping online learning is the equivalent to missing or skipping class. Students who attend class or students who attend school um, improve their academic prospects thus or so or therefore, right? Thus, therefore, so, students who participate in online learning um, also improve their academic prospects. So I'm explaining why I used um, that quote. And maybe I decide I want to do something funky too, like I want this font to be different than the explaining font, or maybe I want it to do like a text wrap or something, whatever. You do have to answer the questions in those boxes. Then we have spaces for images. So you need three statistics, three, one, two, three, I almost put my fourth finger up. Then you need one, two, three, three, three um, images, okay? And then you need to explain your images as well. So this is one way, right? It doesn't look too shabby now that I changed the font, right? It's just because I really don't like that other font, right? Even during a pandemic, schoolwork is important. That's my topic. That's my PSA, right? Even during a pandemic, schoolwork is important. And then it says online learning is all we got. So log in and give it a shot. Pretty catchy if you ask me. And then this is where all of the information is going to be. So again, you don't have to stick with this template. This template addresses all of the things that you need. Um, so this template can be a really good guide for you. Um, however, right, we wanted you all to be able to have the freedom to um, do different things, right? Remember, we are doing a gallery walk. Um, on Wednesday. So your peers are going to see the work that you have done. Um, and we really do want you to um, have the chance to show them, you know, that you've been working hard. Um, and we are going to do sort of an activity where you're able to interact with um, students from all of my classes. And so I do want you to be able to have something that you're proud of to talk about um, with other people. Okay, so with that, my friends, um, this is what we're working on today and tomorrow, uh, today and tomorrow, oh, tomorrow, Saturday, please don't work on this tomorrow. Um, this is what we're going to be working on today and um, on Monday, and it is due at the end of the day on Monday. Um, please, if you need extra time, if you need help, if you're having an issue, do not hesitate to email me. Um, I'm pretty pleased with a cherry on top. Remember, this is not um, something that has to be a big blown out thing. You do not need to send mom or grandma or Aunt Susu um, out to Walmart tonight at 11, you know, 50 to go get you a poster board. You do not need to make Grandpa Joe, um, you know, pull out the old camcorder and videotape you, right? No need to do that. If you want to do something and you already have the materials to do that, go right ahead and do that. Okay, I hope that makes sense to everybody. As always, do not hesitate to email me. I am here for you and all your classmates, okay? Bye, friends.